Live from Los Angeles, welcome to Good Morning La La Land. I'm Dr. Aaron. <laughs> I'm Rob Mack. And I'm Jess Moye. This is Good Morning La La Land, America's first live streaming daily talk show coming to you Monday through Friday at 9 a.m. on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and Twitter. Now also available on Apple TV and Roku. It's hashtag Wealth Wednesday and Yo Quiero Dinero. Gotta stop it there with a little bit of dinero. <laughs> back it up, back it up. That's what I gotta yeah. say. But so Wealth Wednesday, so excited to talk about true wealth, which is all about body, mind, spirit. We're gonna get to talk about yoga some self-love and happiness and a little glam. Wow, I love that. Yeah, why I love a little bit of everything. <laughs> Absolutely, our guest today, Naked, looking so good. We're so excited to welcome to the show. Andrew Seeley, he is a movement here. He's a podcaster. Look at that smile. Good morning, Andrew. Good morning. Speaker, she's a podcaster and an entrepreneur, boss babe in the house. Good morning. How are you today, Samantha? I am well. Thank you so much for having me. Oh, thank you all for being here. So, here in Good Morning All we like to know what your morning routine is. How do you start your day? Samantha, I'd love to start with you. Uh, my morning routine is so extra. I'm like, mornings are like my favorite time. <laughs> it's my favorite time of the morning. It's the time where like no one's bugging me. So, I, I, I carve out about like two hours. Um, I'm huge into breath work. It's just my thing. So I like wake up by like doing like tons of like intentional, intense breathing to like clear um, energy from my body. I realized recently that like sleep for me is not actually restful because my mind's constantly going nuts. So I, I wake up in the morning and like through like breath work, I just release a lot of the emotionality that's like trapped in my body so I can start with like a fresh kind of fresh slate um, and then lots of movement lots of journaling meditation um, all that kind of good juicy stuff crossfit yoga that's, that's my jam that's it nice. is extra she's it got extra. it i'm so extra <laughs> out. how do you follow that up dion like what's your morning routine my morning routine i usually get up and i do my apple cider vinegar and lemon juice and eight ounces of glass of the water and that gets me started a little morning detox um it helps me refresh, and again, I do. I do think about my day, what's gonna, you know, um, come up because things come up in LA. So, <laughs> <laughs> so I usually try crazy. to manifest with a good feeling mm -hmm. right from the start. You oh, know, absolutely. I yeah. In LA, you have to live ready for anything. You yes, have ready to for anything. Expect the unexpected, right? Exactly. Expect the unexpected. Reese Witherspoon's <laughs> gonna call, and she needs a lash like right now. <laughs> right now, <laughs> and you just. Lash out. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. I love it. Andrew, That's what about sick. you? What's your morning routine like? How do you start my your day? My morning routine is all about finding my center. Um, so first thing I do when I wake up is wash my face, and then after that, I sit down and I meditate. Um, meditation for me is a deep practice that allows me to come back to my center, back to my breath, and then back to my purpose. And that way I can really plan out the rest of my day and really bring myself a clear mind and a level head to bring forth my passion into whatever I'm doing for the day. Amazing. Um, after that, just jam into a little yoga flow, get my body open, um, hop in the shower, and then I love tea. And I don't know if you guys are hip to uh, cordyceps or reishi or any mm. mushrooms, but mm. there's a lot of really incredible medicinal mushrooms and lion's mane happens to be my favorite drink my little lion's mane elixir, and then nice. get on to teaching yoga privates and teaching people how to get in their bodies and in their minds. I nice. need some lion's mane. Yeah, I do. <laughs> you ever had this? Awesome. Uh, yeah, this. No. <laughs> mushroom tea? <laughs> I don't know anything about mushroom tea. Oh my gosh, that sounds Not amazing. One thing. Andrew, next time you come back, please bring the mushroom tea. Let's do a whole segment about this. I drank it one time. Get it going. Let's get around. 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 Let
totally lounging now and kind of like separate from each other. These three, they're like, they're already best friends. Yeah. They're back yeah. there. Like, Soulmates. We know it's going to be a good show when they're like cuddled up. A little awkward sometimes when they're like on top of each other right now. Oh, so true. But yeah. So funny. Oh my God, I just remembered. I think I actually tried mushroom tea once. You just remembered? I just, it was a good trip. It was a good, <laughs> <laughs> it was a good trip. It's the last thing today. It was for my first sound healing. I had this tea oh. before I worked with our, our good friend Nacho Armani, and he gave me a sound bath. You know, you, I, I talk about it often on the show when I saw my soul because he blew this seashell at me, but it started with mushroom tea. That's wild. That's wild, and maybe that's why. So maybe. do you feel like that facilitated the experience for you? I don't know, because yeah. the, I did it again, and I didn't drink the tea. <laughs> uh, as, you know, like a control, as a test. <laughs> I see, it was a scientific yeah. Side, side. Yeah, and yeah. I still saw my soul, but wow, that mushroom tea is a thing. Mm. I'm gonna have to we'll check. Try it yeah. out. Lion's yeah. mane. Mm. Nice. So what's going on, you guys? What did you do yesterday? Let's check in. Jessalyn, check, check in with Jessalyn, because she's, got, she's always got the beat on she's the street. Got, she's definitely got the beat on the street. Oh my gosh, well the beat on the street was, is I went for a very unexpected facial. Did you? Uh, I unexpected. Did. Unexpected. I said, I didn't exactly know what I signed up for, and I have a tendency to do this, and I ended up getting a vampire facial. Crazy, right? They that's drop. actually the term. That Well, no, I mean, that's what they, they that's call what it they call on the streets. Yeah. Oh, wow. That's like, on the street. On the street. <laughs> There's a much more scientific Get your street cred up right now, yeah. okay. okay. So I, I go in, and they put this numbing cream all over my face, and I was like, well, this is aggressive. I, I have a high pain tolerance, and they're like, and now we're gonna dry your blood. I'm like, I'm sorry, you're gonna do what? <laughs> I thought this was a facial. And they, they draw my blood, of course I pass out, and this whole thing, but I'm really excited. Apparently you won't see the results for another month now, but they inject your stem cells back into your face to stimulate new growth. Wow. Well, I was an absolute wreck. I'm sure no one is surprised. So I stumble <laughs> out onto the streets of Beverly Hills and I'm like, oh my God, the sun. I actually felt like a vampire. I was like dead, <laughs> dead to the world. I was like, I, I need a hat. I need to disguise. I was so Hollywood. So I like stumbled down the street to uh, uh, Kyle Richards store. Eileen too, you might have seen it if anyone watches Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. And she's got this gorgeous couch in there. And I walk in and the girls are like, you're not okay. And I was like, no, no, I'm not okay right now. <laughs> and they're like, why don't you lie down? So I lie, I lied there for like two hours and they brought two me water. Hours. They wow. took care of me right, right there. So thank you very much to the staff of Eileen too, because they were so great. Wow. That's pretty Just amazing. A, I'm surprised they didn't think you were drunk or no, something. No, no, I mean, <laughs> like they were like, yeah. no, yeah. they said, they actually, <laughs> mushroom tea. They, they, they actually said that happened all the time, because I was like, I just came here for a hat, and they were like, no hat is going to cover up what's going on with you oh, right wow. now, so you better just sit here and drink this water. We had a great time. It, it, was, it was a party in Beverly Hills. That's, that's the funniest is. story. Oh, with my, my vampire gosh. face. <laughs> Oh my gosh, so last night I was at Montage with one of my best friends, Jenny Strait, who's in the house here right now. And Hi, we Jenny. went to Montage and um, I came home and there was a huge cockroach, like mm. flying around, like I've never, I've seen cockroaches before. In your before. house? I kid you not, like I mean, wow. I've seen a cockroach. Yeah. You're really you know, clean, just make that like, clear, yeah, like, like I mean, super clean. We have an older, you know, really cute building and, um, you know, on a rare occasion, we'll get a cockroach and you put the little traps in. It's like part of having an old place in Los Angeles, yeah. right? Part of living in the city. Yeah, no, apparently they fly and apparently they get huge. They're so, like dinosaurs now. Yeah. They're like dinosaurs. No, but they so, are. So me being spiritual, I'm like, okay, <laughs> I know the spiritual truth. The truth is that this is a sign from the universe that like, this is all about our eternal, like, like they can literally live through anything. <laughs> so like this is spirit telling me that I am, you know, invincible and like, yeah, I didn't sleep so well last night. Wow. <laughs> I, I love that. You guys, I love that. That was You guys have had incredible days. I'm not even gonna try to follow that up. Vampire facials, you know, blind cockroaches. Yeah, yeah, you know, that's how I roll. All Holy signs smokes. from the universe that we're on the right track, that's right? right? That's I, right. I'm gonna take my vampire facials. That was the death of the old me. I am being reborn. <laughs> <laughs> As a vampire? <laughs> or as what? Yeah. Taking a note from James Arthur Wright, it's all about renewal and redemption. Right. Uh, yeah. That was a great wow. show yesterday, yeah. wasn't it, you guys? Oh my gosh. Oh, oh, it was an epic. For yeah. me, it was iconic. I was thinking about how my mind still went like, what else do I need to get done tonight? I was like, Aaron, can you just celebrate for like one minute? I mean, we these are milestones in our lives and in the show and everything else, and we don't even take a moment to just like appreciate and celebrate. And I just want to say thank you, James, for coming. Thank you for everyone here, Andy and everybody in the studio. We worked so hard, and that was that was a big milestone yeah. for me because The Secret was a huge had a huge impact on oh my life, gosh, right? absolutely. Mm -hmm. Thanks to Lizzie Rofsek as well. Yeah, that's uh, sure. yeah. Absolutely, she's 
you know, she's an incredible personality. My mom was so excited. We've watched her on Real Housewives. Orange County for a long time and she was so supportive and she posted her pictures from her experience right on her Instagram and so just to be included in this community and to give yeah. back is an incredible opportunity. So Speaking of, don't we have a little shout out for something we, we do, we do. This weekend, uh, Good Morning La La Land and Focus TV is going to be at the Wilder's back lot celebrating with the Concern Foundation honoring cancer. We've got some footage right here we're rolling right now from last year's event. We're super excited. The stars come out and play. All the proceeds obviously go to the Concern Foundation. 99% of those proceeds go to research. Mm -hmm. So great. Research. That's LA. Right. I think that we have a bad glimpse of LA thinking it's just a bunch of kind of insanity drama, but there's a lot of amazing foundations. So many people up to extraordinary. Absolutely. Yes, you know, they're, they're honoring the Cancer Crusaders, Dr. J and Chris Calvert and their family. Um, you know, this foundation's been happening for 50 years we are hosting the red carpet we're so excited so for monday we're going to bring you some of our favorite highlights and interviews it's a total block party there's our girl tambi right there she's a focus tv food editor i mean people just come out and play i'm going to be rolling the dice mm. some gambling betting on green oh. if anybody has any tips on Aren't that for me celebrities serving cocktails also absolutely right? absolutely there's going to be a rotating celebrity bar happening right right there so it's really exciting just to be able to celebrate life, to give back, it's gamble a little bit. Started by a woman. St started by a woman. Yeah. Rob, are you going to be there? Are you going to roll the uh, dice? Absolutely. I'm going to roll the dice. <laughs> I roll the dice every day in LA. Waking up is rolling the dice in LA. Let's be honest. Driving, Getting in the car is rolling the dice. Yes. Being in the entertainment business is rolling the dice. My entire life is just rolling dice. Do you, really? Yes. Think about it. <laughs> it is. Every single day is rolling the dice. Wow. Well, what's that saying about di the dice and God? That uh, to, well, we want the dice to be loaded. Yeah, yeah, Einstein. something like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, there's yeah. something about yes. God. If and God dice. plays dice with it, if God plays dice with the universe, He plays with loaded dice. Something like that. Yeah, something yeah. like that. Oh, yes. that's Speaking that's of, good. Well, yeah. and we can have that soundtrack that J Lo we played there at we the go, time. There you go, De Niro. Yeah, because what's right? the point of rolling dice? It's not going to make a little right. money. Yo Kiro, De Niro, roll the dice. There you go. Well, that's so, right. So speaking of rolling the dice with um, the universe or God, whatever you want to call it, doesn't matter. But um, we want to talk today about Wealth Wednesday, True Wealth, which is really about the body, mind, spirit. And we want to get back to talking about universal laws because people go, why do I care about universal laws? Why should I care about universal laws? And it's kind of like, imagine you have you know your body's like the car you get into in this you know lifetime and you've got you don't have a user's manual like how does my body work with the universe work with the physics and whatever so universal laws are kind of like where physics meet spirituality yeah. so universal laws like how this thing works how we manifest how our thoughts become things all of that yeah. right don't you want a better life with less time energy and effort that's the way i think about it right seriously <laughs> that's what it is rob always like he does this like visual thing he rolls back and he's like you know, <laughs> more income le or what do you say? I don't know. <laughs> I think when I try <laughs> <laughs> Tell me. I try and say it, but Rob, he's like maximum output and for mm. minimal input or yeah, something think, like that. Yeah, I think it's good. Whatever it. you say, yeah. it's good, yeah. right? I appreciate I, that. Justin. I failed miserably. No, no, you <laughs> yeah, that was a good try. It's okay. But anyway, so yeah, we're talking about so um, universal laws are the modes of operation. How our minds, how our consciousness is creating all of life. So it's important because the more you understand it, the more you can you know limit your suffering versus your harmony and your you know enjoying life. So we want to talk today. There's there's many laws. I mean, for sure, there's at least 44 laws that I'm trained in as a doctor of divinity. I'm sure there's more perceptions of that. But we'll talk about the law of oneness today. So the law of oneness is basically saying that there's one presence, there's one mind, there's one life, and we are that. We're, we are connected to everything in the universe, and it's all coming from consciousness. And not just the individual consciousness, it's from the collective and the cosmic consciousness. I, Aaron, as you're saying this, all I can imagine <laughs> is you praying around that flying <laughs> cockroach. Oh my gosh, yeah. Like, we, we are, are all one. one. Yeah. Can't kill right? a cockroach. Right? And some people go, well, why do I care about this law of oneness, right? It's, I think it's for many reasons. One is that then you can't be a victim. Like you have to understand that all of life is really, yeah. it's all, we're, we're all, we all created this stuff as one, right? And um, also that you're powerful, you're not insignificant. And we need you, we need you to be healthy. We need you to rise up to your highest self. We need your creations, we need your dreams. We need all of you, mm, right? I love that, yeah. <laughs> so there you go. 
Oh, no, no, that's it. No, I'm just <laughs> We need all of you. I don't need the cockroach. Universe, no, if right. you're listening. Have some cockroach. You keep your cockroaches away from me, right? Because I'm not going to honor you. I'll probably kill you, cockroach. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So. Well, you are a vampire now. Dude. Yeah, <laughs> I, 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 I am. It's like it's I am. There. No, but it, it is a, it's a beautiful thing, the law of oneness, and to really honor that we are all connected. And yeah. we really need to show up in, in our best way if we're going to show up for everything else. And have compassion, for sure. Mm -hmm. and, Absolute, without question, and so I would say the way I think about it too is like the same intelligence that keeps the Earth in orbit, rotating on its axis, revolving around the sun, like basically keeps life and spring coming and all that good stuff without any of our effort or our thinking, that same intelligence is within all of us, right? Every cell. And so I think mm -hmm. for me, the opportunity is really to experience that and not just think or talk about it. Because I think it's easy to think or talk about it but not have an experience of it. Right? Yeah, so I think at the sure. end of the day, it's about experiencing these things and being these things, being the peace, the love, and the joy, and the abundance that you sort of inherently are. Right. Mm. Um, and that comes Amen. when you let go of the thinking. I love that. Yeah. So and that's, just that's all I got for today. <laughs> Tapped out now. That's right. So let's take a little break. We're going to um, have just some interviews beautiful. with people who have mastered a lot of their happiness and flow in their lives. So stay tuned. You guys will be right back. Thank you for tuning in to This Week in Focus. My name is Victoria Simone, associate producer here at Focus TV Network, America's first live streaming daily talk show network, but you already knew that. And today I have my favorite girl, Jez Moulier, co-host and producer of Good Morning La La Land, America's first live streaming daily talk show. Yes. Yeah, so last week on the Focus TV Network, we had the Renwood Show featuring Malcolm Hatchett. Yes. We had on hashtag Harry and Kelly, Tara Erickson, and that girl is on Fire. Fire. <laughs> Hilarious. We had the Alyssa Goodman Show. With Dana James. Ooh. And we had Good Morning La La Land, Miss Jessa Moye, who was on that show. On Good Morning La La Land, we were featuring Shannon Kay. She is an incredible songstress and recording artist. Amazing. We love her. She's got a great new hit single. But Ward, the gentle giant himself. He is the <laughs> OG Robin from Batman and Robin, the Adam West Virgin. And now he has created this incredible incredible golf food company. So cool. We also had Roger Neal, the second. He's a recording artist. He had an incredible show at Huntington Beach, and we had him on our show to tell us all about that it. That boy can really dance. And so. I was proud to feature on the show Dr. Lakey and Dr. Daniel Ford. Woo! Woo! They have played an incredible part in my personal healing and brought to life so many of the dreams and visions of the people of Beverly Hills Love it. at their plastic surgery center. And. Dan Holtz, the co-founder of the Beverly Hills Rejuvenation Center, was here. He was talking stem cells, hormones, and thyroids. So really live your most beautiful life from the inside out. And we also had Brittany Zoniger here with her show, Purpose. Incredible. She had Mike Hill, creator of Acro Yoga with Andrew Seely, And they were doing Acro literally here on the couch. I think, I, I, think I saw you up here yeah, flying. I attempted it. <laughs> Keyword attempted. <laughs> but you did it oh so gracefully. Thank you. Are you going to try it when he's here next? Absolutely yes. not. Yes, we're going to see some footage of that. Uh, but I will show you my new show called Startup Studios. It's featuring some of LA's hottest entrepreneurs. Awesome. And we had some fun filming here on our 32 other talk shows. Let's take a look. You got this, girl. Here we go. Oh my god, you're going to make me laugh. That was a good practice one. It was a practice run, a little slow on the uptake. <laughs> Let's. Hi, my name is Jesse Golden, and I am the creator of The Golden Secrets. A completely. No, hang on a second. Sorry. <laughs> Can we start over? Yeah. I'm Wendy Broca. I'm Paula Marshall. By the way, this is politics, okay? This is not ticks. I hated it. Let's do it one more time. <laughs> well, that's why I created Just a Thought Meditation Recordings so that you can meditate in your sleep. Uh, pause it there. Can you edit it in? Being new in town, it gives me a perspective on, oh Hello. shit, no, that was wrong. No, can we start all over? Yep. That's too much talking. No, I'm an actress. I mean, you've seen me. Hopefully. Yeah, it's like so hard. It's so hard. That was so hard. Once you go chocolate, you don't want to stop it. <laughs> I'll stop. I'll stop. Um, let's do it one more time. Bitching, didn't work. Complaining, didn't work. We're going to do it work. one more time. Ready? And action. Do I just talk again? <laughs> if you are vegan, you get a vegan pr broth. You get <laughs> this guy's fuck. 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 I, my, my, blah. 
wish my boobs looked like yours. <laughs> Where are they? Andy, did I make it fun yet? <laughs> Thank you. It's no longer a golden secret. <laughs> We're done. Thanks so much for tuning into This Week in Focus. My name is Victoria Simone. And I'm Jessica Moyet. Welcome back to Wealth Wednesday. And we know true wealth never is okay if we're not happy with ourselves, our body, and our relationship with food. So we have Samantha Skelly in the house who is an expert on emotional eating. And she is a podcaster. She's an entrepreneur. And she is extraordinary. How are you? I'm so, so great. Glad you're here. Thank you so much for having me. This is, this is going to be so fun. You are the epitome of a girl boss, boss <laughs> babe. You're doing it all. I mean, the best-selling book, the podcast. Where did this all start for you? Um, Honestly, I, I wanted to be a real estate agent. Like, I didn't plan this. Like, I didn't wake up one morning and, and was like, hey, I should, you know, start this, start this big company. But um, I was an actress and I was a dancer when I was younger. So, like, my whole life I was either in front of the camera or on, on, on a stage. And I developed, like, a super unhealthy relationship with my body, with food. Like, it was... I, like, I was on over, like, 50 diets in less than four years. Mm -hmm. I had no idea how to eat like a normal person. I had no idea to use food for health and hunger. I didn't know the difference between an emotional hunger cue and a physical hunger cue. I felt like this, just like this sense of like numbness in my body. Right. right. Like I did, I couldn't experience like the heightened states of bliss. I couldn't experience, like it was, it was just, it just felt like I was disconnected. Right. So we have like, I don't know what the stats mm. are on eating disorders mm. right now. I, I mean, mm. everywhere I come One in five. It's one in five. One in yeah. five and 91% of people are on the spectrum. Yeah. yeah. I had bulimia when I was 17 to 20. Mm -hmm. And I do feel fortunate in now that I have, I feel like I have a good relationship with the food, but I know that it's something that is lifelong for most people. Right. It's an yeah. ongoing thing. And it's Absolutely. so, such an important conversation. Absolutely. Yeah. 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 It's a, it's a, it takes intentional practice and honoring the body on a, on a consistent basis. So I'm wondering because you know you're mentioning you were on 50 diets and you were emotionally mm. numb. So what was the moment where you were like, okay, mm. this isn't going to work for me. Mm -hmm. I'm going to take control over this. Yeah, I was living in England and I was a personal trainer and I was uh, that was my first company was personal training. And on one hand, I was you know struggling so deeply with my relationship to food, and my body, and then on the other hand, I was like trying to help people get healthy, and I'm like something's not right here. And I just like asked myself, I'm like, why am I not happy? Like, what's actually going on here? And um, it was it was a moment where I'm like, I need to figure what what is going on here. Like, why am I using food as a drug and then restricting? Why are I, all of my clients doing this? Like, there's some there's a bigger conversation. Like, it's not about weight loss. It's about like the emotional weight that we're holding on to. Right, like we, like America doesn't have a weight loss problem. We have a sustainability problem because we're not addressing the core issue of what's actually totally. going on. I love that. Right, Is so that what sparked the brain right there. You were hungry for. Right, exactly, yes. exactly. And so I, I, I just literally like prayed, and I'm like, what is the answer? Or what needs to happen? And um, that was the moment where I was honest with myself that I had an issue. 
because I was in denial. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like I, I thought I was accepting, but I was just in denial. And I think that's which is very different than like, like I mean, obviously yeah. there's anorexia, mm. there's bulimia, there's overeating, there's binging, and mm -hmm. uh, yeah. when you're bulimic, you know you have a problem, right? <laughs> you know totally. that. It's like, but there's so many factors of, of people that are restricting or anorexic or over that right. there's such a gray line that where do you come to that like that's, this is officially like there's that's a problem right here. and it, it really is case by case it's individual it's being honest with ourselves um, there's there's a big spectrum right when people think eating disorders like oftentimes they think the severe anorexic bulimic but there's so many layers in between right. of like having a dysfunctional relationship with food or a body well and so much of it revolves around control right mm -hmm. why would you mm -hmm. you have a problem if you have control over it you have control mm -hmm. over when you make yourself sick you have control be exactly. of what you're restricting and mm -hmm. when you are so some people don't even recognize the disorder they have because they think they have control over it well mm -hmm. that's part of the whole issue exactly. in and of itself mm -hmm. it's the over control absolutely yeah, yeah, and when we when we feel disconnected and we feel like we don't see ourselves, we we need to meet that need of like certainty, totally. right? Like we have to have a need for certainty, and when we don't can't find that within our systems, within our intelligence, we we try and create it and manufacture it in our external world through making ourselves throw up or totally. controlling our diets or calories or whatever it is. Is that what led to the beautiful tattoo? Um, you know what? I got this two years ago. Um, I actually didn't read the book Loving What Is first. I, I just like saw it on the cover and I was like, I love that. It's like the concept of acceptance. You know, it's this concept of like, can we love what is? Because we need to in order to transform anything. Mm -hmm. In order to transcend and transform trans anything in our lives, we first have to accept it. Yeah. From a physics standpoint, that? from a physics standpoint, what resists mm -hmm. persists. So energetically, even just resisting it holds it. Right. In exactly. Place. Exactly. Sorry. No, you're good. You're good. It's so like it's point. like there, there's two there's two motivators, right? Mm -hmm. Love and fear. But when we take action from a place of fear, it's not sustainable. Dieting is like that, right? We're constantly taking action from fear. We're in denial of what is, so we're taking action out of a place of fear, which isn't sustainable, and the journey of getting there is awful. Well, it's, it's almost though a dangerous message to have because some people mm. might use that as an excuse then mm. to not be on a diet that might help them or mm. not change their eating plan or whatever because mm. they're saying, oh, I don't want to come out of a place of fear mm -hmm. because if I'm overweight and I'm afraid I'm going to have a heart attack, yeah. I, I'm just afraid. Yeah. I mean, how do you flip that mindset? Mm. It, it's, it's less of a mindset and more of an energetic, mm. right? So we know when we're in fear and when we're motivated and fueled by fear mm -hmm. versus when we're motivated and, and fueled by acceptance and love. It's an expansion. And so what does that sound like? Sound like or feel like? Both. Both. For, okay, so for me, in my body, when I am motivated from a place of like love and expansion, I feel like a lightness in my heart. I feel like doors opening. Like there's just like this, like it's like oh, I want to like move into that thing. Versus mm. like for me, fear in my body feels like I made this analogy yesterday, and I like never thought about this before. But do you guys remember that movie Home Alone when like they're in the basement yeah. and yeah. there's the <laughs> furnace and it's like, <laughs> and, like this, yeah, you know the furnace, yeah, mm -hmm. right. So that's what fear feels like in my body. And it's like when I'm so terrified of something happening or me staying stuck, I can I can take action from that place, which is force action. So for me, it's all about like the visceral feeling mm -hmm. versus like what I think. Right. How do you create that feeling? Through intention, through like actually feeling, right? Like we as a humanity are horrible feelers. We don't know how to, how to feel very well, mm -hmm. you know, and we're afraid of it because our minds think that our bodies are going to like overwhelm us with emotionality, um, which isn't the case, wow. right? What our mind thinks we can feel is like this muddling, but what our bodies can actually handle is so much greater. Right. So tell us. So someone's come and they go, "I'm clearly emotional eating. I need help. What? How do you?" How do you help them? Mm -hmm. Well, understanding like what is the emotion because it, it's essentially emotional eating is like using food as a drug, sedating eating. It's no different than like someone like over drinking or, or, or using drugs. So it's understanding like what is the feeling that we're afraid of? Got it. Like what is that? What is the wound there? Like we are to peel back the layers because we know it's not about the food. It's not about the drugs. It's not about It's not about the food. Food is just representing. A, a, a drug mm -hmm. and so it's about understanding like what am I afraid of what is the fear what parts of me need to be loved what am I trying to disconnect from it it's shifting our our judgments on our systems into curiosity and and really getting that. curious mm -hmm. about like what's happening what is my inner child really needing right now what parts of me need to be soothed right like I'm bored I just want to sit around and watch TV and eat oh wait it's not boredom it's like there's something deeper going on here. Right, there's no such thing as boredom. Yeah. Boredom is just like a, a byproduct of like avoidance of the wound and of the feeling, 
right? We're just fe we're just avoidant of fe of feeling. Mm -hmm. So when we can change the relationship we have to pain in our body, and we can go, oh, that's such a beautiful thing. I get to now learn from this, and I get to grow from this. We transform our lives. But when we are constantly living from a state of being avoidant of pain, we're never going to grow. Right. Yeah. yeah, I mean, we talked about that yesterday with James Arthur Ray. He said pain mm. is opportunity for growth, That's right? It. But That's especially it. with those who struggle with eating disorders, mm. it's not as easy as flipping a switch. Mm -hmm. In fact, it's, like Aaron said, for yeah. many, a lifelong battle. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, absolutely. It could be chemistry, biochemical also. But yeah, I 100% I mm. agree with your work. And mm -hmm. I think that diet, we know diets don't work. Like, mm -hmm. it's the facts are out, you guys. The stats are out. Yeah. Ever since diets started, we've gotten fatter and fatter as a culture. So well, clearly, and, they and don't work. To like, clarify, Diets so will give you some results, right? right. So like, yeah, you'll yeah. see a physical result. So it's not going to affect your yeah, mind. Yeah. So like, if you want to lose 20 pounds in 20 days, yeah, you can do yeah. that. And you're going to get it all back plus more because you're not addressing what's driving the weight in the first place, mm -hmm. right? So much of the physical weight in our body is a representation of the emotional weight that we're holding on to. Not always, but a lot of times. But, you know, I'd like to flip this, too, because we're talking a lot about people who want to lose weight. Mm -hmm. What about the people who are not healthy mm -hmm. and who are underweight. Mm -hmm. Putting on that weight is a very scary thing. Right, so, so people who are severely anorexic and, bul and bulimic, mm -hmm. healing, health to them is very scary because what does that mean? It means they're gonna gain weight. And that is the thing that they are the most afraid of. Yeah. So it's about unpacking and understanding what is that representing? What is weight on your body representing? I'm not loved, mm -hmm. I'm inadequate, I'm not gonna be, I'm gonna be abandoned and understanding what that is at a core cellular level. For sure. Well, yeah. I love it. How can people work with you? How can they find you? Um, yeah, so we're hungry for happiness everywhere on the internet. We have a podcast, a book. Um, our core our core program is called The Society, which is a group coaching program. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of our modalities are um, breath work and movement and shifting mm -hmm. energetics in the body and clearing trauma from the body. It's not a lot of like talk therapy, talk coaching. Right. It's very much like internal internal stuff because the mind can't figure this stuff out. No. I tried to think my way out of disordered eating for mm -hmm. years and it doesn't work. So That's it's great. really about the embodiment of, of the energy. Such important so work. Thank you, so Thank, you. Totally Thank you so much. Totally am in alignment with your process. Thank you so much. Thanks for having me. Stay tuned you guys. We'll be right back. <laughs> For you, in this moment, what feels most true to you? The three of you. Mm. <laughs> really grounded and present and like honored to be sitting with, with other like-minded individuals. I think that it's so important with everything that's going on in the world that this is our now, mm -hmm. that this is hopefully the future. And I, you know, because of the experience with certain things on TV in the past, um, it's heartbreaking. And it's heartbreaking to watch, and it's heartbreaking to see other people go through it. And out, people out there watching it don't really understand what it does to your psyche and to your heart. It's just tragic. And so I think what you guys are doing here is absolutely just a gift. Right. This is my sanity. <laughs> I can see that. There, there's so much insanity in my life and uncertainty. This is my truth. I have a hard time saying no to. One is a boy in a band, and the second is a Snickers bar. So I write <laughs> oh, about that. Harry and sister. <laughs> <laughs> Chasing you down like an ice cream truck Every damn time that my phone lights up I'll be salivating at the sound of what's up Yo, what's up? Boy, you're delicious It's too bad you ain't nutritious When you say my name, it's like candy When you kiss my lips, it's like candy You're no good for me, you're like candy You're like candy, hey Thank you guys. Love addiction. I hear it. Wow. Do you guys want to be my backup? <laughs> <laughs> like, okay, you guys, come on. We need to get vulnerable here. Totally. I think it's okay to pepper it in, and I love beautiful content, and I've always been a fan of putting out really quality content, but at the same time, I think that it's really important for my industry to tell their story. The mission has definitely been to inspire women to be the best version of themselves, and kind of be an example and a role model for a lot of girls that are reading my blog. What's been the biggest challenge for you in doing this, in building this business? Ooh, the biggest challenge I think is 
how consistent you really have to be. So what I've had to do is learn that I'm like a cell phone. I'm, I have 100% charge and it goes down to 1%. And when it's down there, I need to step back, recharge. The consistency of creating content, um, it, it, it can be a lot, but um, I just, I think I love it. And To Good Morning Wild and it is Wealth Wednesday and we are lashing out with Dion Phillips. Thank you so much I for being here. Thanks for having me. Oh, well, you know, it's, that's all you. You are your walking brand. Yes. You made my day. Yes. Uh, her lashes on right now. She's definitely they lashing are, out. They're, right? they're oh. serious lashes. People too. see these and they get whip lash. Those are going for days. <laughs> days. days. Well, lashing out's been going on since what, 2005? Yeah, 2005 since I've been here, but I've been doing lashes since 2000. Wow. Literally a long time, a long time. But uh, you were a model, right? I was a model first, and then I wanted to still be cute by cutting up strip lashes and applying them to myself. And then uh, a couple of girls from auditions would see me, and I'm like, yeah, you can have these lashes, because then there were Polaroids at auditions. So Polaroids, they made your eyes pop on the Polaroid. Oh, absolutely. So I would say, look, these lashes can be amazing <laughs> Polaroid. Your eyes will open up. And then all of a sudden, one girl led to four, four led to eight, and to a six-month waiting list. Wow. wow. Because I wanted to be cute. That's because. it. <laughs> That's it. Sometimes the most profound ideas are Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, wanting to be cute, though, the way you look can translate into the way you feel. Yes, exactly. Right? right? So how do the lashes make you feel? They make me feel alive. They make me feel like... Say this, can I say this on camera? Do it. I feel like I have a new boob job. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. I know that takes a lot. <laughs> 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 so lashes, you know, are probably back in 2000, it wasn't very common. People didn't wear fake lashes that much. And now it's very standard. In L.A., when you go out at night, probably majority of the women are yes. wearing lashes. Yes. So what's the industry, what's happening with the industry? It's the staple. Um, lashes are basically this, the hottest thing, because it's just, it covers and makes and makes your face. Mm -hmm. You know, it really dresses up your face from that point. So that's why I think women want it, something to brighten up their face and lift their eyes open. So um, I think just wanting that aspect of it is becomes a, a staple. Yeah, and you work sure. with a ton of celebrity clients, right? Mm -hmm. Some you I can say, some I can't. Uh -huh. <laughs> we have a mutual friend in common. Yes, we do. Yeah, oh, so yes, we do. Emily Shack. Sh yes. And we know Emily because you work with. Yes. Victoria Beckham. There you go. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, um, that was a great relationship. Uh, a lot of my friends come out of other celebrity clients as well. Um, Emily had worked with her. And um, there's other ones I can say, and I just keep treasure, keep their privacy treasured. Yeah, yeah. Well, and that's why they treasure you, yes, right? Yes. Discretion mm -hmm. is everything. And especially in, in Hollywood, you know, a lot of people on Instagram always want to post who they are, but with me, they want to just kind of keep me as Hollywood's secret beauty weapon. Is that part of your secret sauce? What would you say, like, <laughs> constitutes your secret sauce? That's one of the secret sauces, yeah. is not exposing everything. You know, you have to keep some things private. Mm -hmm. And um, my lashettes, I treasure. So some I like to say, some want me to say um, who they are, but that's one of the secret sauces. There's a meme somewhere I saw, um, there are two rules to success. To success. Uh -huh. The first is, don't tell everybody everything you know. Exactly. Exactly. And, <laughs> and the other is... The exactly. Other, the other. <laughs> That's exactly it. <laughs> I'm, I'm glad you took the bait on that because I was going to leave a lot of people confused. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that's one of the secret sauces. I love it. Yeah. So, so if people want to work with you, they can get temporary, they can get... So I have a full service lash spa okay. mm -hmm. in Beverly Hills. Um, they can come and get the service. Eyelash extensions is what I specialize in. Um, I was the first to bring it to market. so. That's why there's a huge trend right now. Mm -hmm. And then now I have a, a, a collection of eyelashes, strip eyelashes, 3D lashes, and just simple, you know, natural lashes. Lashes doesn't have to be this big, you know, broomstick looking lashes. Yeah. Well, I, mean, I, so. I have a question because a lot of my girlfriends, you know, were very interested in doing this lash extension, yes. right? I want to wake up with someone and look and feel my beautiful it's convenient. Best stuff, right? Mm -hmm. So convenient. Mm -hmm. Also, we're terrified because there's a lot of rumors around about yes. like bacteria within yes. the lash. It'll stunt your own lash growth. Yes. I mean, is that true or false? Some true and not. Your lash, your lashes will continually grow. They're, they're constantly growing in their in the generation of of hair, hair okay. growth. Um, you do have to be careful. A lot of different people are learning 
um, these lashes in one day classes over the weekend. Um, they're not certified. Um, you, in the state of California, you have to be an esthetician. Um, you have to be licensed. So I would say to potential clients looking for eyelash extensions or lashes, please research the work and please research that person. Um, not just a group on. Thank not you. This on. is not no, living you know, social lashes. Exactly. <laughs> also, you know? what, what about at hurting animals? Are there there's some that are made out of mink, which is horrific. A little, uh, it's it's the buzzword. Mm -hmm. Mink is the buzzword. They're basically silk fibers that are attached to mm -hmm. either a strip lash or the extension lashes. They're you know, back in the day when they first started, there was a story of you know J Lo wearing the mink lashes. So I think um, manufacturers start using that as a buzzword as these are mink lashes. Mm -hmm. um, but they're really not. Yeah, mink. I'm, I'm animal free and I'm animal okay. free cool. um, service, so I provide just silk cool. lashes. Yeah. Good to know. Good to yes, know. Yes, very good. Right. right. <laughs> what, I, what I also love about you is, you know, obviously you're an expert in creating red carpet glam looks, mm -hmm. but you also provide kits so we can do that at, at home. At home, yes. You can get the eyelash delashes eyelash kit on the website. Um, if you can't reach me here in Los Angeles, um, I provided uh, several different styles in an eyelash kit with adhesive that comes with it, and um, also directions. Okay, right. so what would be your top three tips for the DIY lash? Oh my gosh, the eyelash curler for the DIY. That's the, that's your best friend to apply your eyelashes. Some people fumble with their fingers trying to apply, yeah, you know, the adhesive. I say adhesive because it sounds pretty. Wait, 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 wait. You're saying you put, you put the fake eyelash in the eye eyelash curler, curler and then Oh, finally, they and finally tell me yes. that. Yeah, I'm sitting that gives, there like it's like up on one corner, and I'm like, well, it gives do you this? leverage to actually oh. apply the lashes. You know what I mean? So the learn something new every day. Yes, mm -hmm. the other DIY trick is 13 seconds. Let the adhesive dry on there. Remember I put the lashes on yeah, you? Yeah, so, so this is the other thing. She <laughs> takes it with a brush, and she put, instead of me, I have this thing I'm squeezing, and I can't yeah. get it out right, and it's like the glue's going every which way. See, it's terrible. That way. There's, yeah. there's <laughs> easy steps to do that. So I usually, 13 seconds, let the adhesive dry and get tacky on the strip, the eyelash spine, and then take it, the curl of the lashes, which I'll demonstrate if we can, mm -hmm. um, through the eyelash curler, then you can apply it, and it just sticks right in your lash line. That's wow. the secret. Yeah. Wow. Amazing. That success of yours isn't <laughs> accidental, was it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So yeah. great. Well, we're so excited. I feel like we're going to have a lash emoji. Yes, we are. For Dion. We for sure. Sure. The lash out <laughs> emoji. So where can, people, where can people find you? They can find me in Beverly Hills. I'm actually about to move. I'm expanding my business. Congratulations. Um, thank you. Thank you. Um, in Beverly Hills, um, they can reach me at, on my website at dlashes.com. And I'm all on every social platform at dlashes. Awesome. Yes. Woo. Well, thank yeah. you so much for these beautiful lashes. Thank you for Thanks all your for work. Thanks for having me. This is so, so much gorgeous. fun. Thank yeah. you, too. I can't wait I to come to Beverly women. Hills and lash out. Yeah, yeah, let's do, do it. it. Let's okay. do it. Okay. <laughs> we'll be right back. Live from Los Angeles, welcome back to Good Morning La La Land. It is about to get hot in here. Kelly Russo is here guiding us through the ALS Hot Pepper Challenge. Yes, I'm so sorry, but this is going to be fun. It's for a good cause. So first, you uh, pick a hot pepper of your choice. Then you eat it on camera. Honestly, yeah. honestly, yeah. this is, you know, this is an okay. underfunded disease with money. We can cure it. That we, we're doing this, right? Oh, okay. Be, so, okay. Ready? Oh, it's hot. <laughs> oh, no, it's getting bad. It's getting bad. Make your donations. We're challenging you, La La Land, to give back to ALS. Stay tuned tomorrow for more Hashtag Friday Feels. We're America's first live streaming daily talk show. Woo! Angeles. Welcome back to Good Morning La La Land. We are celebrating hashtag Wealth Wednesday in house today. We've got Miss Anna McCord and an angel himself, Mr. Matt Thompson. Thank you so much for being here with us. Thanks for having me. We have the honor of going to one of the Tech Post Angel events, and it was truly one of the most inspiring things I've done in Los Angeles. I feel like I'm in entrepreneur night school. The so Tech Post Angels is sort of like Shark Tank. Um, we have a, a big auditorium, and then the, the, the entrepreneur will go up on stage and pitch their idea for 10 minutes. Uh, and then at the end of that, we'll decide, do we 
put in $500,000 or do we let show them to the door? Mm -hmm. So I've got a few ideas. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. Right. Good time. Good time. <laughs> We're really at the very beginning of a huge tidal wave, I believe, in the startup and angel um, it's, funding. It's huge. So um, Hulu and Netflix mm -hmm. and uh, Maker Studio was in full screen and all these great Focus uh, TV. Focus right? TV. <laughs> that I am a huge fan of the show. Aww. And I think that you're by far the best looking, most beautiful. Yeah. Oh. Uh, show I have ever seen. Oh. I mean, and you're the gorgeous. Oh, okay. And you know, seriously, I mean, the impeccable dress. Right. Um, you guys are, and it's such an intelligent show. It's a show mm -hmm. that inspires others, and I love your conversation. Manifesting, um, making people feel good. It's um, it's really inspirational, and I'm really excited to see oh. everything that, that happens with this. I want to echo. Thank you so much. Yeah, I want to echo Kevin's thoughts as well because it is wonderful to see such positivity on TV. And like you were saying, relationships, it's your circle of influence, you know, that starts your day off right, that, you know, influences everything that you do. So I absolutely love the content and just keep doing <laughs> what you're doing. Welcome back to Good Morning La La Land. We are so excited mm -hmm. to have Andrew Seeley. He's a yogi and a podcaster. Welcome to the show, friend. Thank you so much for having me. It's so nice to meet you. We have so many friends in common. I know. We've heard so many. All your pictures are amazing. <laughs> Tell us about what you're up to. Currently, my goal is to positively influence every environment that I have the capability of, of touching. So it's wow. just... Wow, dream big, would ya? I know. <laughs> Connection <laughs> catalyst. Wow. That's the key. Yeah. I feel that we all have a gift, and the fact of the matter is once we find it, we have mm -hmm. the goal to share it with those who we have the great opportunity to be around. And How it's, did you, you know, find your gift? a blessing to be here. Uh, I found my gift, I would say, through a lot of adversity and a lot of um, self, I would call it like self-searching, you know, like yeah. when you're young, I was playing soccer at Cal Poly San Luis Obispo, I had a lot of, um, you know, just different distractions bringing me away from what I felt to be my passion at the time, which was microbiology, and um, I've always loved biology, I've always loved how matter tends to connect itself together. And I really got into plants and uh, botany, and then from there, I had an ankle injury in soccer, and I had a girlfriend who took me to my first Bikram yoga class. In my first Bikram yoga class, it connected me to my breath, to really sitting there and looking myself in the mirror, having to deal with the fact that I couldn't touch my toes, having to deal with the fact that I couldn't sit down fully in a seated position because my hips were so tight. And every single day I can take back in Bikram Yoga for 100 days just to find the flexibility to really feel open in my body. And what I found is every single day that I came back to Bikram Yoga, my ball control on the soccer field got better, mm. my focus in school got better, and I had better relationships with my friends because I was able to listen not only to my body, but also to my, the people around me. Mm. And so it um, so well allowed me to become more sensitive. So mm. tell me, because obviously I had been meditating for years and years when I finally got more into my physical practice. Mm -hmm. And I took on Kundalini Yoga, but I look at your pictures and you are so flexible. Like, I'm like, oh, <laughs> and I think I, when I see people like you, I go, well, they were just born flexible. Not at because all. Because <laughs> I've, I've been doing it forever and I'm still, I mean, I got a little bit better, barely. You know what yeah. I mean? Like, how do you, how do, you do that? I mean, how do you push I it at that a, level? It's a definite purpose, you know? Like, when... You have a definite purpose to bring yourself to a space where you share your passion. Like your passion is what you focus into. And for me, when I found yoga, that's what I fully focused into. Mm -hmm. Because I found that that was the highest aspect of my excitement. I became most excited when I was practicing yoga mm -hmm. and most excited when I was helping others find their flow through yoga. So it really became a, a process of, um, you know, give and receive and equal effort and ease. So it was mm. like, it, was, it became effortless to me to share yoga mm -hmm. to others. And for that, it's like, I'm always doing yoga. Right. You know, whether it's teaching someone and showing them how to move through the practice or flying someone in acro yoga or, you know, going on a TV show to show someone how to move through their practice, it's like, I'm always doing yoga. Yeah so profound to me did you find later as you 
you know, discovered this interest in yoga, that that the essence of that was the same thing that attracted you or introduced you in botany and microbiology? Was it the yoga of botany and the yeah, yoga? Yeah, so yoga is a science. A lot of people, um, you know, see the outside of yoga as just the asana, which is the third limb of yoga. In yoga, it's an eight-limbed practice, mm -hmm. and meditation happens to come after the asana. And so it's it's like you know, first you get your moralistic do's and don'ts, and then from there you practice your asana practice, which is the physical practice. And then from there you do your breath work, which is your pranayam, mm -hmm. which is you know My deep favorite. inhalations, deep exhalations, and it's so it brings you into that state where you're fully able to align with your inner self. I get just straight up high off of it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, it's yeah. the best drug ever. The best breath. drug ever is the breath, <laughs> yeah. you know? It, it, we, we forget often that the breath is literally our connection to the universe. Mm -hmm. The same breath that we breathe in is the same breath that every tree breathes out. The same breath that we breathe in is the same breath that dinosaurs breathe, you know, back in the day. It's mm -hmm. like all this energy has never been created or destroyed. It's all in a continuous cycle. Law of cycle. oneness? Is that what you're talking about? Yeah. Yeah. Law of oneness. <laughs> That's right. right. Wow. And, and they say that yoga is union. Mm -hmm. So it's really the conscious awareness that all things are working in unison to be in balance. Maybe so I need beautiful. some more of that lion's mane tea to really just <laughs> fully experience we'll this. Embrace it all. So, so wait, now, so you also have worked with Allo, is that correct? Yeah. And I'm you an have ambassador. a podcast and you have whatever. So. What does that look like as a business-wise? How does I mean, this work? So it is Wealth Wednesday, mm -hmm. and I find that the easiest way to bring forth wealth is to live your passion fully. For sure. And to bring all the different revenues of um, profits, per se, to be energy exchanges that have to do with something that you're giving the world that you feel confident in sharing. Mm -hmm. Because realistically, like the only way that you can truly receive value from something that you give is if you give it full heartedly. And so when I think of anything that I'm doing, whether it's, you know, teaching in an epic retreat or, you know, going to take yoga pictures on some magical mountain in the highest, driest desert in the world, Atacama, Chile, it's like <laughs> just little stuff like that, you know. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it, it's 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 the the presence that you bring to that moment is what truly brings the positive energy that will flow into your life. Mm -hmm. And that could be financial abundance, that could be incredible connections, that could be just the resources that you need to be able to live your dream fluidly. So mm -hmm. true, so true. So someone out there that has a passion for yoga mm -hmm. and they do want to take into business, what would that look like? I mean, you just explained that kind of, but what, where, like bringing a community, what would be the first like tip you'd kind build of a community. build a community? Mm -hmm. Yeah, because I feel that with anything that you do, you have to have people who are really passionate about what you're doing. Mm -hmm. So it can't just be you being the spokesperson. It's like, how are you serving others? That's really the truth of the matter. It's like, how can you help others bring themselves to a higher sense of learning who they are and what they're here to do? Mm -hmm. It's such an interesting law of the universe. The more that I give of myself and my time, the more that I receive. It's the truth. Mm -hmm. It's the truth. And when we think about um, any successful person, you know, whether it be Steve Jobs, or it could even be people like Michael Jackson. If people who give more than they receive oftentimes end up elevating to points of uh, beyond stardom, you know, what, what I would call legends, mm -hmm. living legends. Legends and are, legacy, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. And, and what you said that part of that is that their reward is in the giving itself. Exactly. Because that, that's the difference, I think, was when I was young and as a, as a kid and even a young adult, you know, I would give and I and meant it, but, mm -hmm. and I gave so much. But I got, I didn't get more, you know, I didn't get much in return, I mm -hmm. felt like, over a period of time. And then I realized this is kind of twisted. Mm. I should be giving only that which I feel most truly and deeply called or inspired to give because it's rewarding of itself. Yeah. Mm -hmm. right? and, and when we think of it like giving a hug, you know, when you give a hug, it's an equal exchange. For example. So equal exchanges, we, we forget often that there's an abundance of energy that this this well of love comes from a source that is never ending and so our goal is to that never ending light to every single 
person who we have the opportunity of touching within our days. You always know in LA, the people that are like really in touch because they hug and they keep hugging. You're like, oh, you're one of those. <laughs> okay, let's just yeah. keep going there, yeah. right? Yeah, too long, hugger. <laughs> it's like the close talker of LA, right? You're that's, like, oh, do, you're do, do, that's okay, intuitive nature thing. too. Too long. That's intuitive nature too. You gotta, you gotta realize sure. when it's obviously time to mm. stop giving too, because if someone's not receptive, then you don't want to overgive or yeah. that becomes, you know, too pushy. Mm. And it's I feel delicate. that, yeah, yeah, sensitivity. Right. We're all looking to gain a deeper sensitivity of the energies around us. And that way we can flow in symmetry mm -hmm. with everything around so us. So speaking of that acro, acro yoga? Acro yoga. So tell us about that. <laughs> did, did this come about through Burning Man or was this just down in <laughs> Venice? Yeah. Where's this coming from? It's popular everywhere, everywhere. that it's thought huge. leaders yes. pervade. It's so beautiful. <laughs> oh my Santa Monica? Absolutely. You yeah. I was going to say, anytime you go to Santa Monica, it's just lined down the street with people flipping around <laughs> on each other doing acro yoga. It's pretty well, incredible. It's called the green. Um, there's an incredible space where our community, um, which we call the Acro Yoga community, come together mm -hmm. and practice Acro Yoga together. And Acro Yoga is a mixture between acrobatics and yoga, mm -hmm. where we bring the fiery practice of lifting each other up and acrobatics into the balancing sensitivity practice mm -hmm. of yoga. So for and those so, of you watching, it's like when you played airplane. Exactly, <laughs> as a little kid. So they lay back and put their feet in the air Things and like then you this, flew. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> I absolutely, so on Sundays, occasionally I go just to the green. Yeah. Just to sit and watch, even though I don't, right? Because the energy there is so high. Mm -hmm. Because people are so focused and they're so present. Rob, why don't you get in there? Have done it? Yeah. Have you done it? No. Oh, <laughs> man. I'm going to watch. I'm going to watch. I'm going to wake up to that. I'm flying in. I'm getting close. Seriously. You've got to go up in the air. Yeah. It's incredible. You first, and then we'll see how that goes, and then I'll be next. Okay. Yeah. Deal. So we're going to do a little acro yoga when we come back. Stay tuned. Hello, Los Angeles. I am your host and producer, Alex Worley, filming inside Focus TV's West Hollywood studio. Welcome to Empowerista, a show dedicated to highlighting female trailblazers and empowering you to turn your barriers into breakthroughs. Hey guys, I'm Amy Paprat. And I'm Justin Walter. And this is What's Good, the show that's dedicated to positive, uplifting news from all over the world. We are live. Live from Los Angeles. Welcome to Good Morning La La Land. I'm Dr. Aaron. Hi, I'm Rob Mack. And I'm Jess Moyet. This is Good Morning La La Land, America's first live streaming daily talk show coming to you Monday through Friday at 9 a.m. on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and Twitter. Now also available on Apple TV and Roku. It's going to be a Good Morning La La Land. episode of Sadie Says. I'm your host, Natalie Sadie. Welcome, Daniel Hall. First episode. I didn't even realize it was your first episode. Hi, welcome to Dr. Aaron's show. It's been a while since we've been here and I'm so excited because we're going to be talking about discovering your purpose and calling and I have El Ross in the house. Thank you so much for coming all the way down here today. <laughs> Hi everyone and welcome back. I'm your host, Tara Tanner, and this is the Model Mama Show. I'm so excited about our guest today. We have Chelsea Cannell Briggs, who this is literally a blast from the past, you guys. <laughs> That's true. We haven't seen each other since we worked together at Fox Sports. Hello and welcome back to the show. I you am excited it. and delighted because we <laughs> we have an amazing guest. So thank you, Jeannie, for joining us. It's my pleasure. Thank you for having me. I'm a fan of both of you. Oh. I'm Jess Moyer, and this is LA Unscripted, and I'd love to welcome to my show, Mr. Jacques Silverstein. Thank you so much for being here. It's my great pleasure to be with you. I 
This is somebody who went from super nerd to supermodel. So I'm so excited. Let's talk to Anna. Yes. Anna, you were the winner of our very first Viva Glam model search. Yeah, you guys were actually my very first photo shoot. Hi, everyone, and welcome to Reshape. I'm Allie Landry, and I am so thrilled to have our next guest. So I am so grateful that you are here with us at Reshape today. Thank you, Ali. I'm You're so welcome. happy to see you. Thank you. And you couldn't look more gorgeous oh, if you tried. Is... Today's guest is best known for being the fitness guru on six seasons of The Biggest Loser. He's a New York Times best-selling author, Dolvet. <laughs> Dolvet. We, we don't even say Quince anymore. It's just Dolvet. It's, it's like... always like one day. <laughs> Dolvet. <laughs> you are tuning in to Slay with Rachel McCourt, and I have a fabulous guest. In studio with me is Liza Glukov. She's just been named executive producer of programming at Awesomeness TV. We have perfect lighting. <laughs> We've got some spa girl vodka in case we get a little crazy. <laughs> Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Millennial Life. I'm your host, Laura Odegaard, and today we are joined by the very beautiful former Miss California and now a TV host, Natasha <laughs> Martinez. I'm so happy that you're here. I'm so excited to be here. Thanks for having me. Of course. <laughs> Hello and welcome to The Joe Show. I'm Josephine and here on our couch today is none other than the heartthrob of Shahs of Sunset, Shervin. Thank you for having me. Oh, thank you so thank much you. for coming in today. Hi everyone, welcome back to The Ren Wood Show. I am so excited for my guest today. I have the beautiful Bianca Hayes. Thank you so much for being here, Bianca. Give me a hug. For this episode of Purpose, I'm your host, Brittany Zonker. I'll see you next time. Hola, yo soy Gina Moreno y soy una reportera aquí en Los Ángeles. Para mí, mi pasión es para decir las historias de las personas que han luchado lo imposible. Todas las entrevistas aquí en Focus TV. Hi, I'm Gina Moreno, a reporter here in Los Angeles. And my passion is to tell people's stories, the stories of people who have accomplished the impossible. For all the interviews, make sure to watch Focus TV. Welcome back to Good Morning La La Land. You all know I like to say yes to just about everything. So I'm saying yes today to acro yoga with my man, Andrew Seeley. Woo. I'm terrified right now. You guys are just sitting there like in the audience. Just like the house, okay. He's got this. Okay, well, you know, if I'm ever going to try something once and do it on air, I am happy to do it with you. Hey, I believe in you okay. as long as you believe in me. All right, let's acro. <laughs> let's, let's do this. Nice. I'm going to fly. So I will say that I've seen this, where Rob saw this in Santa Monica. I, I, I tried it at home, it didn't go well. So let's try again. Yep, so the key is to keep your chest up, okay. look up high. Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, think this of, is fun! Look at that, yeah. that was easy. Lift now, your chest even more. Okay. Mm -hmm. Lift your chin, now uh -huh. look up, uh -huh. and allow your hands to become light. Oh, oh my gosh, I'm go. flying! Nice, so just wow. keep your shape, don't move. Okay. I'm really trying. I'm so nervous. So what are some of the benefits of this besides really feeling like I'm a bird right Human now? Human connection and trust. Those I, are what I, I would say you. are the two main benefits. Okay. But obviously you can feel a toning in your back, right? Oh, yeah, and my hips, too. <laughs> and, yeah, your core. Thank you, good And there's also a therapeutic yeah. side to it. So okay. I want you to bring your legs wide like a straddle. Oh, my God, my mom's yep. going to say, what are you doing on TV? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> feet heavy towards the ground. Feet okay. heavy, yep. And now, Woo! now bring your feet heavy towards the ground. <laughs> heavy towards the ground. Okay. Yep, and bring your hands behind your head in prayer. Oh, I can't do that. Yes, you can. Have, no, 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 no. Look at you're doing it. <gasps> Done. Wow. Boom. Okay. So Jess nice. can do full splits, so we were thinking maybe that you should try <laughs> more. Oh, <laughs> How much can we push this envelope? <laughs> I mean, we can do no. a whole lot of positions, but I it may take like, you know. I do and Pilates, but oh my gosh, I'm really surprised, actually. It feels pretty good, right? It does. It's an incredible stretch, actually. Yeah. Thank you for creating this space for me. I feel so awkward, but wow, <laughs> wow. Extend your hands forward. Keep your palms okay. to my palms. Palms to Elbows your palms. Elbows in. Okay. Push up. Nice. Oh. And down oh. we go. <laughs> <laughs> we did it. I All right. Oh, thank you 
she so experienced much. the law nice. of oneness. The <laughs> law of oneness. Oh, thank you so much, Andrew. That was that was so fun, so right? Cool. Yeah. You can literally tell people now that you're able to host, like even basically standing on your head. Almost. Uh, almost standing on upside my head. Upside down. Yeah. Upside down. Uh -huh. I mean, how many people have hosted upside down? Yeah. So come, yeah. come, sit, come sit back down. Absolutely. Have a seat, Andrew. Oh, thank Have you. a seat. Wow, Wealth Wednesday. I just flew. I want to try that again, Rob. After the show, oh, yeah, you're, yeah, you're yeah. going. Well, I can uh, teach you how to base. Oh, yeah. yeah, I love that. Yeah, absolutely. You've got yeah, strong legs. We'll try that. Yeah, I'm trying to work out. That. that was pretty incredible. I love that. Yeah. <laughs> I wow. think we should all get in like leotards and put on some big lattes and some sparkles and go down to Santa Monica. You mean we should lash acro. out? We should we lash, lash out with some acro yoga, right? Because I'm hungry for happiness. Oh. There we go. Mm -hmm. There That's we right. go. So tell us where can people find you? How can they work with you? Uh, they can find me at Andrew, the number seven, Seeley, and that's dot com. Also on YouTube, Instagram, and I lead retreats worldwide. I'm going to Kauai on the 16th, and I've got Wonderful. an epic retreat plan there. Um, the next one after that is Mallorca, and then um, we've got Mykonos, and then Bali. Well, I love Tough Bali. life. Bali. <laughs> Tough life. Wow. Wow. But, but the, uh, you have the seven in your handles mm -hmm. and your website. Is there? Something about that. Seven wonders of the world, mm -hmm. seven mm -hmm. days of the week, mm -hmm. seven continents, the seven seas, the it's your seven number. chakras. It's your, it's your number. Yeah, the seven mm -hmm. has been the most resonant number throughout my life. Nice. And um, it's it's been something that has guided me to know, like, when I see the sevens, I'm like, oh, I'm in flow. Yep. Got so, it. Yeah. I love that. Well, thank you so much for all your divine work. Uh, thank you. And giving your love to the world. That's true wealth. Blessings. Well, thank you yes. so much, thank you so much. for having me. Oh, thank I you appreciate so much. You. Yeah. You guys, stay tuned. We're going to bring everybody back in one second. We'll be right back. Thanks. Welcome to the Focus TV studios in West Hollywood. I'm Jessica Moyer, host of LA Unscripted and co-host of Good Morning La La Land, America's first live streaming daily talk show. And today I have the privilege to announce the latest issue of Focus Magazine, and we're calling it the Empowerment Issue. These pages are filled with some of the most amazing personalities that are truly empowering others. On the cover is Ms. Kelly Fors, a filmmaker who's dedicated her work to empowering others to take charge of their own health and wellness and heal. We're also proud to feature Mr. Mark Teschner, a nine-time Emmy Award-winning casting director for General Hospital. I had the honor of interviewing Mr. Teschner at Prospect Studios, where he is empowering some of the most talented personalities in daytime television. It is an honor to feature Ms. Ellen Rakuten, a 13-time Emmy Award-winning producer known for her work empowering others through the Oprah Show and now in Red Table Talks. She is a true entertainment mogul, a loving mother, and an absolute Empowerista. And speaking of Empowerista, the creator of the Empowerista show herself, Ms. Alex Wortley. And where can you find an LA dining experience that feels like home? Right in Encino on Ventura Boulevard. I had the honor of interviewing Chef Nigel at Davenport's, where it's good food, good friends, and great family. And Focus Magazine readers now have a new morning routine. Bel Air has welcomed Mr. Warren Clue aka Chef Warren of Holy Juice, an incredible juice bar right at the Bel Air Glen Center. Also in this issue, Mr. Kim Vo, known as the best blonder in the business. No matter what celebrity he's working with, he always goes back to his roots. A special shout out to Ms. Lillian Garcia, who I had the honor to interview for the previous cover of Focus Magazine. Part of her empowering tribe is from Music to Mindset with Arden Kaylin and Greg Sims with a practical goal setting technique. And Elizabeth Winkler contributed a very empowering piece from Laura Wasser, who is changing the face with divorce because it's over easy. Also featured fellow TV host, Ms. Lisa Torres, who's empowering us to live a very high vibe life. And not all heroes wear capes, and we're proud to feature Focus TV family member, Ms. Sally Cologne, the filmmaker behind Women Like Us documentary. And our travel editor, Ms. Wendy Brokaw, contributed a great piece about a chic hotel in the desert. Empowering us all to crack the code on social media, our friend, Ms. Emily Raber. And it was an honor to celebrate the 45th annual Daytime Television Awards. It was conscious conversation and red carpets, an epic week of glamour and giving back. 
I had the honor of interviewing some of the most prominent people and personalities in daytime television. A special thanks to Mr. Kent Speakman and Connect TV for partnering with Good Morning La La Land to empower us and entertain us. It's all empowerment in this issue of Focus Magazine. We are the only magazine in the country that offers a full video library to complement our print features. Your favorite interviews are also available as a podcast on iTunes. I'm Jessica Moye, and for all of the entertainment, enlightenment, and empowerment we share today, don't miss the latest issue of Focus Magazine. Welcome back to Wealth Wednesday. We are so excited, you guys. We've had acro yoga, we've had lashes, we've had all kinds of deep conversations about yes. healing. And D lashes is going to take Jazz right now. So she says what? yes to everything. I do. I do say yes to just about everything, you know. And I have to live my life red carpet ready. I'm headed to an event after the show up in Malibu at a style lounge. So I was hoping if you could give me a lash like you did at Eris. Yes, yeah. yeah. do a little quick. D-lash. Yes, please, please do. Okay, great. So okay. break this down for me. So this is my new 3D lashes. They're three-dimensional. These actually emulate eyelash extensions. Ooh. Uh -huh. So they look very real. The technology of eyelash, they come to a pretty point at the end. You see that there? Yeah, absolutely. And then I have the, the you can just buy this adhesive from any CVS or D-lashes. Um, <laughs> And I'm going to actually apply it to the spine of the eyelash. Okay. And we're going to apply just enough until it becomes tacky. Remember that that DIY tip? 13 seconds. 13 seconds. And I love it that the adhesive is actually black. Yeah, it's like an eyeliner, actually. What's the brand of the... Of the D-Lash. The, I have the D-Lash adhesive, but this Her is brand. Revlon. Revlon. Uh-huh. My the, eyelash uh, does not look like that. Does by it? The way. I need to upgrade. I need to be 2018. This is next level. Uh huh. <laughs> Level me up. I want to be yeah. extra today. So we want to start with the the tapered end towards the eye here. Okay. And we let it dry for 13 seconds, as we see here. We're gonna go right into the lash line. Do you want me to close my eyes? Yeah. Close your eye there. Right into the lash line. And we're just gonna stop it. So you want to make sure the eyelash doesn't go beyond your brow, your brow line there. That way it doesn't bug your eye when you're opening your eye, and it just sticks right on. Oh, that's the good. tricky part. The inner eye part is what's yep. so wow. challenging. Open. There you go. Like, oh. oh my God, look at that. that. Beautiful. Wow, that's so much Before better. Before and after. Oh, oh, hello. Hello, hello, hello gentlemen. Really fast here. Yeah, right. Wow, it does, it does make such a difference. I've never seen that. Here we go, right here, right? <laughs> Well, just just get one from this angle. That, that's right. really nice. What's that Super movie glam. where that girl left out makeup? See, this is why I'm afraid of DIY. It, what if I wake up with somebody and then I look like this? No. <laughs> and then that lash is on the pillow. I mean, this is well, not cute. Keep those lights off, girl. Keep those lights off. Keep the lights well, off. the sun comes up in the morning, Rob. <laughs> so again, 13 seconds okay. is the rule, de lash rule. Okay, And then, yes, you can start at the very okay. end here, near the end of the brow and go right in towards the lash line and apply, let go. Oh my gosh. And it's I so all around though, if you think about it, it's like, we have these deep, deep conversations, like all these, and then we have, have and then we all live in the glam world too. Yeah, so it's like, we might it's just make it full look spectrum of like, you know what, it is what it is. We're not, you know, meditating in the Himalayas. We've chosen to be in like this, <laughs> Concrete jungle yeah. with all the above so and have make material it look stuff, good. right? Yeah. Why not in my eyes? That's right. That's deep conversation. Uh -oh. <laughs> I, might be, I might be addicted to yes. this. So you shine from the inside out. Great? Oh, That's you're right. my new best friend. Look how beautiful. Wow. It looks yeah, amazing. We those lashes. Wow. wow. Beautiful. Beautiful. My mom is going to say this is a non negotiable now. <laughs> <laughs> but wear those lashes. You get that Dion in your life. Yes. Oh, <laughs> thank you so much. Perfect. You look perfect. Enjoy them. Lash you can wear these up to 28 applications of use, like a month. I wait a little bit longer, oh, but wow. take them off and apply them back on the tray. Wow. Deal. Uh huh. And then, yeah. yeah. Absolutely. My mornings are going to be a little more extra like Amanda's over here. Yes. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. Yes. Stepping well, we, up my game. Right. Thank we you. just want to honor all you guys for all your work because it is really beauty from the inside out. And we yes, recognize that. And thank you so much for all your work for helping uh, people around their emotional eating. And help, thank you for helping us thank be you more for beautiful. Having me. Thank you. Having fun I love being a service. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So fun, you guys. Yeah.
Thank you so much. Thank Amazing you. day. We are Good Morning La, La Land, America's first live streaming daily talk show, coming to you Monday through Friday at 9 a.m. on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and Twitter. Your favorite interviews are also available on a podcast at iTunes. Yes. <laughs> That's right. We're waking up the world together, you guys. Have a great day. Like, share, comment, and have you a great day. Enjoy your wealth. Okay. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> yeah.